morning. It's Monday, September 30th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, A Word to the Churches, and our scriptures, Revelation chapter 3. Look, I stand at the door and knock. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and we will share a meal together as friends. Those who are victorious will sit with me on my throne, just as I was victorious and sat with my father on his throne. Anyone with ears to hear must listen to the Spirit and understand what he is saying to the churches. Through the years, I have heard this text preached, and have done so myself, as a call to the lost to come to Christ and be saved. It's an urgent invitation to open their heart's door and let him come in. It's also a bludgeon wielded by skillful evangelists to usher the crowds of seekers and the resistant souls of those who reject Christ closer to the throne of judgment so that they can sense the heat of hell's fire awaiting them on judgment day. It's an interesting thing how when you've heard something proclaimed so long and so dogmatically, you just kind of accept its bland noise as part of the landscape and hardly ever question if there's anything deeper. I've always accepted this Christ knocking at the door of hearts as a message to others. After all, I was saved years ago, part of Christ's church. I'm part of the regenerate, redeemed, no lost soul here. And while I believe that to be so, that does not diminish the primary thrust of John's word in this passage. As I read the words again, the latest among hundreds of times I've been through John's revelation, the final sentence grabbed my heart from the superior vena cava down to the aorta. The apostle squeezed my theological blind spot into attention. Revelation 3.22, anyone with ears to hear must listen to the Spirit and understand what he is saying to the churches. To be true to the original context, John was writing to an actual church body, the lukewarm church at Laodicea. This group of believers, saved disciples of Jesus, had grown complacent and they weren't living up to the model of passionate faith in Christ. This message of Jesus standing on the outside, still knocking to be invited in, is a letter to Christians. It's not an evangelistic call to the lost to come to the foot of the cross. This is a passionate, almost desperate cry for the saved to stop walking away from the cross. The church today, no matter which brand you name, is suffering a great falling away. Attendance, adherence, and all-around love for all things church is drying up like a mud puddle in a North Carolina drought. Many want to spend time figuring out why and who's to blame. And that's the nature of humans. If we can point a finger at somebody else as the reason for failure, we stand a chance at not looking too closely at our own responsibility. But that's just the issue John was addressing. Church is merely a name for a group of people who are servants and friends of Jesus. The church doesn't fail anyone unless a disciple walks away from responsibility to Jesus. The church falls only when its disciples fall. So Jesus' word to the church is, get back up. Discipleship is a walk and you can't do that from your easy chair. For you today. For every New Testament passage, there's a corresponding Old Testament bell ringing in the ear. Let's let the clarion call to God's people ring for us the bell of God's wake-up call to the churches. 2 Chronicles chapter 7. Then, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and restore their land. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.